Hi everyone, I'm Karolina, and today I will be talking about our paper Same Neurons, Different Languages, Probing Morphosyntax in Multilingual Pre-trained Models. This is joint work with Eduardo Conti, Lucas Turoba Hennigan, Brian Cotterell, and Isabel Augenstein. Contextual representations have brought about impressive performance improvements in a wide range of NLP tasks. However, it remains unclear how pre-trained models manage to learn multilingual representations, despite the lack of an explicit signal through parallel texts. We hypothesize that multilingual language models implicitly align morphosyntactic markers that fulfill a similar grammatical function across languages by encoding them in the same subset of neurons, even in absence of any lexical overlap. To test our hypothesis, we turn to intrinsic probing, which is a subset of probing that aims to determine which dimensions of in representation encode a particular linguistic property. In our case, we will focus on supervised probing, where the goal is to train a lightly parametrized model called the probe to predict some property of a representation, for instance, the part of speech tag of a word or the number as here in the example. The assumption is that if a probe attains high accuracy in the probing task, then the representation presumably encodes said property in its representations. Our goal is to find a subset of k-neurons in the representation that maximizes some informativeness measure, such as accuracy or mutual information. We opt for a latent variable probe and learn its parameters via variational inference using the Poisson sampling family proposed in our prior work. Using this probe, we conduct our experiments to test whether morphosyntactic information is encoded in the same subset of neurons in different languages. We select 43 tree banks from Universal Dependencies 2.1 annotated with morphosyntactic information and use three models, Ember and the base and large versions of XLMR. We re-split word representations based on lemmata ending up with disjoint vocabularies. We use the log likelihood of the probe on the test set as our greedy selection criterion. We find that, indeed, pre-trained models develop a cross-lingually entangled representation of morphosyntax. From the above results, it emerges that around 20% of neurons among the top 50 most informative ones overlap on average, but this number may vary dramatically across categories. Further, we find that overlap varies across morphosyntactic categories and tends to be lower for categories with large inventories of possible values, prominent exceptions being number and person. As the inventory of values of category grows, cross-lingual alignment becomes harder. Next, we find that sharing of neurons is most, more likely to occur between languages in the same genus. We also measured the correlation between neuron overlap and similarity of syntactic typological features. While correlation coefficients are mostly positive, with the exception of polarity, we remarked that the patterns are strongly influenced by whether a category is atypical for a specific genus. For instance, correlation is highest for animacy, a category almost exclusive to Slavic languages in our sample. Finally, overlap grows proportionally to the pre-training data size, but it also decreases in larger model architectures. We explain this phenomenon with the fact that more data yields higher quality and, as a consequence, more entangled multilingual representations. We refer you to our paper for more details. Thank you for listening.